In this lesson, I will be discussing to you our first topic in Math 101, which is entitled, The Real Number System. But before I discuss the handouts that I posted in the BUPC Learning Management System, I will be giving you an introduction on how to classify numbers, which includes the natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and real numbers. The first classification of numbers that we're gonna talk about is the natural numbers. The symbol used to denote the natural number is N. It includes numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. They are also referred to as the counting numbers. Please take note the natural number does not include negative numbers, fraction, decimals, and zero. The best way to remember this is that we naturally and normally count things starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. We do not start our counting from zero. Thus, natural number is the basic core classification of numbers. The next layer of numbers are called whole numbers and denoted by the symbol W. The classification of whole numbers is exactly the entire natural numbers and we will now include the number zero. Whole numbers therefore will start at zero. One way to remember this is to think that whole numbers are exactly the same as natural numbers except that they start with a number that looks like a whole. We can also observe that any natural number is considered as a whole number but not the other way around since zero is not considered as a natural number. However, some references might teach you that natural number includes zero. This can be seen in set theory and in your chosen field, in the field of computer science. Computer scientists actually does count starting from zero. The next layer of classification is the most familiar type that you are likely to have heard before. We call it the integers. The symbols for integers is Z. It includes the entire whole numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. as well as the negative numbers. However, it does not include fractions or decimals. Rational number is the next layer of classification of numbers. Q is the symbol for rational numbers. The rational numbers includes all the other classification that we learned so far including fractions and decimals. But there is an important thing to take note here. Decimal numbers must be a number that can be expressed as a fraction where numerator and denominator are integers and denominator is not equal to zero or else it will become undefined. And both numerator and denominator should not be equal to zero since it will yield a NAN or not a number. Repeating decimals are decimals that contain an infinite number of digits. For example, if we divide 10 by 3, the result will be equal to 3.333. Repeating and since the numerator and denominator are both integers, it is considered as a rational number. Another example is 11 over 7 which result in an unpredictable decimal would be considered as a rational number for the reason that both numerator and denominator is integer and denominator is not equal to zero. Terminating decimals are decimals that contain a finite number of digits. For example, 36.8. 0 0.125, 4.5, and imagine this. If someone will be thinking of a number that is a natural number, is it safe for us to assume that it's also a rational number? Yes, because we can assume also that it's a whole number, an integer, and finally a rational number since the classification that I've mentioned is a bigger set than the natural numbers. Moreover, there's a whole different set of numbers that is not related to any of the number classification that I already discussed. 
these sets of numbers are completely separated from others and this cannot be expressed as a fraction. These are called irrational numbers. The most common example of this type is pi. And we all know that pi is never-ending number that does not repeat with a constant decimal or with an obvious pattern that it makes it irrational. Another example of irrational number is square root of 2 since it cannot be expressed as a fraction. The last classification of numbers is the real numbers. It is simply all the rational and irrational numbers combined. And this completes our classification for now. However, there are other classifications that you will learn later as you progress in your study on higher mathematics. Other vocabulary associated with the real number systems are the ellipses, which continues without end, the curly braces or the set, which is a collection of objects or numbers. When we say finite, it is having bounds or limited, while infinite, it is having no boundaries or limits, and a Venn diagram, which is a diagram consisting of circles or squares, are used to show relationship of a set of data. Please take note of how the classification of numbers is drawn in layers. That's it for now. See you in the next discussion.